Rodeos are a proud Texas tradition. You know, for over 50 years, the biggest rodeo in the state featured convicted criminals. That's right. KVU's Bob Buckaloo takes us back to the days of the Texas prison rodeo in tonight's backstory. It's probably not the most likely place for a rodeo, but once upon a time in Texas, just outside the walls unit of the state prison in Huntsville, thousands of prisoners risk life and limb participating in one of the toughest rodeos in the USA. For 55 years, prison inmates competed for prize money, a tradition that began in 1931. Each Sunday in October, as many as 20,000 visitors would fill the arena next to the prison to watch the action. Over the long history of the Texas Prison Rodeo, at least two inmates died, and many dozens were injured when they tangled with wild bulls. Only two prisoners ever tried to escape during the rodeo, and both were caught. This news film from WFAA captured the year that the rodeo offered some new contests for women prisoners, 1972. Reporter Judy Hanna. The Texas Prison Rodeo is an opportunity for those on the inside to take a look at those on the outside. By the 1980s, prison officials began losing interest in the rodeo, and the Texas legislature refused to spend half a million dollars for repairs to the arena. The last rodeo was held in 1986. The arena was demolished. It was the end of a long and fascinating history when prisoners were set free, at least for a little while, as they attempted to become stars of the rodeo. Bob Buckaloo, KVU News.